fellas, it's Wheelie Wednesday, and we just loaded, unloaded another killer selection of bikes here. Uh, we went to Brit Jam this weekend, and look what followed me home. This is an absolutely stunning matchless 56 G80S. I'm just gonna do a quick sneak peek video on all these, and then we will do full featured videos as we go through. We're gonna give them tune-ups and full rotisserie details. Some of them need a little bit more than that. This one here, uh, this is a Triumph. This is, this is an absolutely beautiful piece right here. Look at the tank on this. It's a 250 Triumph Scrambler. It's got the uh, oversized trials tire, Dunlop on the back, 400 by 18 with a 21 inch front. The front is painted gold. We're gonna um, probably strip the paint and polish it. We're gonna restore this one, make it beautiful. It was Brit Jam, but Brit Jam's an all, all bikes event. And this followed me home too. Look at this thing. Absolutely freaking beautiful. Sure, what do you awesome. think? Oh, it's great. It's like a brand new motorcycle, isn't it? Oh yeah, it, it doesn't skip a beat going down. I, I just got back from riding. I said, Kyle, you gotta try this thing out, man. It's got, it was the lady who owned it, it was her mom's bike. And when her mom retired, she bought it from her. And she was six foot one, really tall girl. So 3,000 miles on it, still has a for sale thing on it. And uh, we bought it, followed me home. Again, Brick Jam's an all bike event. They even had British bikes, so I ran into Ted Smith, the president of the Antique Motorcycle Club of America, and he's like, Ken, you gotta check out this R75.5. And uh, I followed him over there. When Ted Smith tells you to buy a BMW, you buy it, you don't question him. He's the foremost BMW expert in the United States of America. I don't know anybody that does better restorations than him. This thing's cool. It's an R75.5 with Luftmeister exhaust. Uh, not running, been sitting for years. Then we found this. A mechanical engineer owned this one absolutely stunning i got a three page parts list like every grommet every nut every bolt every seal he went through this entire bike top to bottom whatever it needed uh just a beautiful beautiful daytona and i've got a long history with these all the way back to 1974 when i was nine years old my dad bought one same exact color as this this one so this one i don't know if you saw the video i put it on the kaplan cycles channel the video on this one the lady actually cried real tears she'd owned this thing for 24 years and uh it was time for her to part with it she was having trouble kickstart it she's getting older so um she bought a push button start triumph and uh this one ended up following me home too another super nice daytona so two daytonas a honda and what do we got over here wow this followed me home too beautiful little bsa starfire this is exactly the way they came in we're gonna go through them, get them dialed in, run them beautifully, and we'll demo all of them for you. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got a big weekend planned. We're going up to almost the Canadian border to pick up a GPZ 750 Turbo, a GPZ 1100, and a Z1R. So in addition to that, we just got our Turbo Harley, our Turbo uh, Z1 running yesterday. So there'll be some videos of that. And then on the way back, I'm stopping to pick up 14 bikes. So I got 17 bike pickup this weekend. We'll be back with a trailer load. Stay tuned. And as always, God bless the United States of America.